In Haiti's capital, learning is a dangerous business. The education of the youth of Port-au-Prince occurs behind iron gates, beneath spiral blades of barbed wire, in an atmosphere of pervasive fear. I'm afraid that the gangs might come and kidnap me. I don't feel good, but I do it because I love school. Principal Vildrez Olibert runs this school on a shortage of funds and students. A fuel crisis leaves many out of work and unable to afford education or even the commute. Everyone worries about kidnapping, but we keep working. We operate on faith. For many of Haiti's youngest and most vulnerable, getting there is the most dangerous part of the day. I sometimes hear gunshots on my way to school. Although I'm on foot, I don't have trouble going because I live close. Haiti's children have become a black market commodity. In recent weeks, the country's powerful gangs have increasingly used a vacuum of political and police power in the capital to rob teachers and snatch their students for ransom. A week ago, this school was open. Then some gangsters spotted a parent at the bank, followed him here, killed the parent, and injured several others. Now, like many schools in Haiti, this one is closed. Parents arrive to find uniformed children on stretchers, leaving teachers across the capital afraid to come to work, but often showing up anyway. I hope there'll be a change because the way we're teaching kids right now in this atmosphere is not favorable. My hope is that the situation we have right now will change so we can function. Despite the dangers, each day thousands of children arrive in class after braving the capital's streets. But for many, the price of education in Haiti has simply become too high. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Port-au-Prince.